We cannot buy our security, our freedom from the threat of the bomb by committing an immorality so great as saying to a billion human beings now enslaved behind the iron curtain, give up your own freedom. Because to save our own skin, we're willing to make a deal with your slave master. Alexander Hamilton said a nation that is afraid to danger is prepared for a master and deserve as one. Now let's set the record straight. There's no argument over the choice between peace and war. But there's only one guaranteed way you can have peace and you can have it in the next step. Surrender. Admittedly, there's a risk in any course we follow other than this. But every lesson in history tells us that the greater risk lies in appeasement. And this is the sector our well-meaning liberal friends refuse to face. That their policy of accommodation is appeasement. And it gives no choice between peace and war. Only between fight or surrender. If we continue to accommodate, continue to back and retreat, Eventually, we have to face the final demand, the ultimate. And what then? When the key to Khrushchev has told his people, he knows what our answer will be. He has told them that we are retreating under the pressure of the Cold War. to deliver the final ultimatum, our surrender will be voluntary because by that time, we will have been weakened from within the spirit morally and economic. He believes this because from our side he's heard the voices pleading for peace at any price. Or better rev than death. Or as one commentator put it, he'd rather live on his knees than die in his feet. And therein lies the road to war. Because those voices don't speak for the rest of us. You and I know and do not believe that life is so dear and peace so sweet as to be purchased at the price of shame. If nothing in life is worth dying for, when did this begin? Just in the face of this enemy? Or should Moses have told the children of Israel to live in slavery under the tree who were not fools? And our honored dead who gave their lives to stop the advance of the Nazis didn't die in vain. Where then is the road to peace? Well, it's a simple answer after all. You and I have the courage to say to our enemies, there is a price which we will not pay. There is a point beyond which they must not advance.